Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I'm a kindergarten teacher here in California. Now more than ever, it's important for our students to be hearing information about nutrition and healthy eating habits as often as possible. And that means including that in the classroom. As teachers, we know how important repetition is for learning. And the same is true when our primary students are learning about nutrition and healthy eating habits. It's never too early to start getting your students excited about being healthy. While this may seem like one more thing that you need to add to your plate, I assure you this amazing Let's Eat Healthy program from the Dairy Council of California will fit perfectly into your yearly curriculum and make it really easy for you to accomplish this task. I am so excited to share this amazing resource with you and I know you and your students will love learning about nutrition and healthy eating habits with the Let's Eat Healthy program. In this video, I'm gonna kind of walk you through what the program is, how you can get access to it whether you're in California or out of California, and um, just share with you some tips on how you could implement this easy program in your curriculum. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's start with the basics. Let's talk about what the Let's Eat Healthy program actually is. So the program is from the Dairy Council of California, and it's an absolutely free, yes, free resource to California teachers. In fact, if you're a California teacher and you've used this program before, comment down below. I've used it in my classroom. But the good news is if you're watching this and you're not in California, you can still get these resources at a very low cost. And I'm talking just a few dollars. It's really, really cost effective. All of the resources have been tested and approved by teachers just like you and align with standards for grades kinder through second grade. So the Let's Eat Healthy program helps build the skills and knowledge to practice healthy behaviors with five fun and engaging lessons that include number one, making healthy food choices, drinking better beverages, understanding the importance of breakfast, understanding the importance of snacks, and understanding our food systems. With two to three activities in each lesson, teachers are really able to customize and choose which activities they want to do with their students. So how do you start? The first thing you need to do is order your Let's Eat Healthy kit from the Dairy Council of California. I will include links in the description below. The kit includes everything you need to teach these fun lessons, including lesson plans, teaching posters, and student workbooks. They make it so easy to incorporate these important lessons into your classroom. So the Let's Eat Healthy program includes a super handy nutrition workbook for your students to use with your lessons. The workbook also includes a letter to families explaining the benefits of the program and what their students will be learning. This is great so that parents can get a peek into what your student is learning, but it also reinforces those important concepts at home with your students. So I used this program with a class of kindergartners, and so I'm gonna show you some footage here of me using the program. The students loved it. It was very hands-on and engaging, and I love starting new learning with a fun activity to really hook my students and get them excited about a new topic or a skill that we are learning. So for my lesson, I brought in a bunch of different foods. Now you have to make sure that your students don't have any allergies to foods. I strayed away from um, higher allergenic foods like nuts, but I brought in basically foods from every food group and we kind of did a little activity where the students put food on their plate, taste testing, and engaging with the food during a snack time. This was a great primer activity, getting the students engaged and interested, getting hands on, engaging their senses, and appealing to all those modalities that are so important as we introduce new concepts in the classroom. So after we categorized the food, we then dove into how to create a healthy plate. The USDA's My Plate icon is the perfect visual representation of how much food 
um, you need in each particular food group and how much food students should aim to include on their plate for each meal. My students really love this activity and the Dairy Council of California has done such a great job at including characters for each food group. So for dairy, um, it's Mary Dairy is the character for vegetables. It's Reggie Veggie. Fruits is Fair of Fruit. Grains is Jane Grain. And protein is Dean Protein. And so as I was introducing each of the food groups and as we were talking about the different parts of their meal and how much food they need to have on their plate with each meal, we referenced the characters. So how much of Mary Dairy do we need on our plate? And then the students had little, um, um, like paddles that were also in the curriculum that they cut out and glued on a little popsicle stick and so then they would hold up Mary Dairy when I would ask a question if that was the correct answer um, and then we would categorize based on the character. So each of the food groups and characters helps to remind students what types of food they should be eating and how that food group benefits their bodies. So I'm gonna be really honest with you I had food on the table that not every student was crazy about. And I encouraged each of my students to practice mindful eating. I really encouraged them to just try the food, even if they think they might not like it. I even kind of wove in there some thoughts on how to train our taste buds and just talked to the students about the importance of healthy eating and the importance of also trying new foods to broaden and expand the foods within the food groups. So after we did the anchor chart activity and we were able to sample and get our snack in, we then took the worksheet from the workbook and we wrote down and made a quick sketch of the foods that we ate and then we, we basically rated the food based on what we thought of it, whether we liked it, disliked it, or if it was just okay. And for kindergartners, or if you have students who are not writing yet, um, one of those ways to modify that lesson is just to have them draw a picture. So if some of the students drew a picture of broccoli, or of the crackers, or of the blueberries, and then I had them rate what the food tasted like and the worksheet was so perfect for this activity. So then we went back to the anchor charts and I let the students categorize the food on the anchor charts with cards and the curriculum comes with pre-made cards. I would probably laminate these if you're planning on using them year to year. Um, and then, or you could set them up as a center. In, in my mind, having the anchor charts made like that, what I would probably do is just hang them up in the classroom, laminate them, laminate the cards, and then just have that be a center for the month and have all the cards laid out. The students can then go around and organize the food groups. They're up and moving. They're making those real life connections with the anchor charts. And um, it's just a great way to just get that hands-on activity in with the curriculum. So this activity really did two things. Number one, it got them interacting in a, in a special way, up and moving. But then also it's a way for me to do an informal assessment of their learning. As a teacher, I found that the quickest way into a student's home is actually through the excitement of the student. Now hear me out. If you can get a student excited about their learning within the classroom, give them the tools and resources that they need to bring home to their parents and them share that information with their parents, that's the quickest way for that information to be disseminated within the home. So the Let's Eat Healthy All Year program from the Dairy Council of California has five lessons that are focused on teaching your students the importance of healthy eating and how to have a balanced diet. There are so many lessons, it's possible to spread them out throughout the year in a way that works best for you so you could weave them into your instruction. I always taught the Very Hungry Caterpillar um, book. I read that book to my students um, in the spring because we were learning about butterfly life cycles 
and you could very easily tie in a lesson with a read aloud, actually kind of like how I did, where I read the book, had the students follow along, and then we talked about the different foods that we saw in the book. In addition to this YouTube video, I've written a blog post and have linked it down below in the description. And if you want to implement this program in your classroom, whether you're in California or not, I've linked all of the information in the description for the Let's Eat Healthy program by the Dairy Council of California. It is a wonderful resource, an amazing um, website and resource for you as a teacher. And I'm excited to hear your feedback. So please let us know in the comments if you've used this curriculum before um, or if you are planning to use it. I hope this video gave you some helpful tips and strategies on how you can teach healthy eating. And hopefully you go and check out the resources from the Dairy Council of California. I promise you it is worth it. The materials that they have are incredible. They're very thorough, well thought out easy to implement and just make it so easy for us as educators to impact little lives but then those little lives go into the their homes and impact their families which just adds value to our community so as always thank you for watching and supporting don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to stick around to see when i upload new content and click on the links in the description to get the amazing program from the dairy council of california i think that's everything i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye